so today is the day I just got a call from the mechanic Effie is back she's ready and I'm gonna jump on my bike and go and pick up my truck Yay! so excited <laughs> There she is, happy, happy, joy, joy, my little truck. He's so happy to see you. He's so happy to see you. Thanks, Scott. See ya. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Oh, Thank you. See ya. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Oh my gosh, my windscreen needs a really good wash. Look at that. Oh, what a legend. We got a little. Trick back, Pixie! Oh my gosh, so exciting! Today is a special day because Priscilla and Effie are getting hitched up and we are rolling and you won't normally see me up with the sun just rising Oh my gosh, the sun is literally just rising. Way too early for me. I had hardly any sleep because I'm just so excited. But we are hitching up and rolling out. And it's going to be 40 degrees today. So I'm trying to make an early start so I can do it all before it gets too hot. Woohoo! Let's go, Effie! Gotta wash the dishes first. Trouble day, trouble day, Pixie. We're going to go hit the road today. You know when something's going on, don't you? Hey, you know. We're going to be traveling today. I'm so excited. Yeah. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Would you like being on the road again? It's a bit hot today, isn't it, Bubby? Yeah, it's a bit hot. Pixie and I have just stopped for a wee break at Sanano. Cute little town. I love it. I always stop here when I come through this way. There's lovely green grass, shady trees to sit under. It's really hot today. Uh, good test for the new transmission. And the transmission cooler seems to be running okay. So that's a bonus. Um, but I thought I'd just stop and just let it cool down a little bit because the aircon, I've got the aircon running full bore and even at full on it's struggling to keep it cool. I think it's um, I said 37 to 40 today, so a hot one. Um, and also my very, very old air conditioning system. Um, it's still the original air conditioning system. I've had it regassed once and I think it needs the hoses. It's got the old fashioned like just hose clamps on the hoses which is not really up to standard anymore so um, when they put the belt on it and you know cranked it up for me when I first um, turned it on because it had never been used um, they said that you know if it leaks at any stage they might need to redo those hoses at some stage but otherwise it's running great I mean it's so smooth it's been starting like first go turn the key boom it starts it's never done that in its life and I, I don't know the mechanics that even did that like after not having been driven for two months it literally just started up so I, I don't know it's never run that good um, so I'm really happy he replaced the Welsh plugs in the engine as well um, and tightened up my fan belt so it's not screeching anymore which I don't know why the people that I got it serviced at up at um, oh, wherever it was up on the central coast uh, Lake Haven I think it was like I had a full service done and the, and the fan belt was screeching already then and um, they just let me drive off with a screeching fan belt so I'm not real happy with that and the, yeah anyway whatever 
that my mechanic that you know was worth coming all this way for um, he's he takes a long time because he's a single dude working in that one workshop he's really the only reliable mechanic in the town he does a really good job and he doesn't rip you off um, and he's also answering his phones all the time and if you walk up and talk to him about your car he'll stop and talk to you so he you know a lot of his time is spent talking to customers and I told him I was like hey if you want to give me a job I'll come and sit there and answer your phones for you free up heaps of your time with all the customer inquiries I can book cars in and look at the calendar and just you know give you messages to do it at the end of the day that was my idea I was like you don't even have to pay me I'll just do it for something to do because I was sitting there for two months with nothing really to do but anyway he he just kind of laughed when I said that but I'm so thankful to him he's he's really you know been amazing and um, he said to me I've been amazing for being so patient because I was like look like, you know take your time you know I know you're busy do it whenever I'm not going anywhere so it worked out December January as planned in the one spot off the road now it's February and the roads are really really quiet I've had nobody behind me the whole way since I left the caravan park this morning so um, it's now 10 to 11 so we've just been cruising slowly doing about 80 k's 50 mile an hour it's comfortable these roads are really wobbly and um, as you know that's what damaged my caravan last time so I'm taking it easy but I'm very tired I probably I feel more enthusiastic than I probably sound because I woke up at 3 o'clock this morning oh, just so excited I couldn't get back to sleep and I just grabbed some stuff from the shed and dropped some stuff off and um, grabbed some stuff to sell at Bridgewater so they're having like a like a flea market day on Saturday I think it is we can put out a table and sell stuff so I was like wow great opportunity to get some stuff out of my shed and and sell some things and um, yeah I'm just oh, it feels so good to be on the road and I will talk some more about um, what the mindset process that I've been going through these last couple of months about you know whether or not this is the lifestyle for me and and looking at alternatives and um, basically nothing else ever seems to pan out so I'm just back to doing this and and actually feeling pretty thankful about it and looking forward to doing a few different things and getting back into my saxophone busking because I haven't done that for ages and just yeah really happy um, happy to be on the road happy to have my team back together Priscilla Effie Lisa and Pixie on the road again <laughs> Let's go. These are the kind of roads that we were on when my caravan got damaged. And when a truck comes, this is what I do. Pull over very slowly and let them pass. And that's the proper way to do it, Mr. Tow Truck Driver. You don't just hurdle down at 100k an hour and jump off the asphalt and into that gravel when a big truck's coming towards you. Lane Road and there's a lot of them like this back here and I've always been extra careful with these roads and give the trucks the right of way because they're working and they're in a hurry and I'm not so yeah anyway that's how my caravan got damaged if you can imagine not slowing down and just jumping off the asphalt into that gravel and then not even stopping and just keeping on going and jumping back on again that's going to cause some serious We're nearly there. Yeehaw! Let's go to Bridgewater. We made it to Bridgewater. I love this place. I can't wait to see Rhonda and Darren. They're two of my favorite people. All right, let's pull into this shady spot and cool this little girl down and we'll go and check in. Woohoo! Job well done, Effie.
Let's go and say hello. Hello. stuff they've got. So cute. Cute little caravan and flamingo and cupcake. There's just so much cool stuff here. They cater every time for the vintage banners. They know what we like. Oh, I actually made them. Okay. Yes. I think I'm going to have to get this one because it's pretty and it matches my colours. It is a pretty bag. And I have a pair of patchwork jeans that I think would work perfectly with that. What do you think? Oh, I love it. Love it. I think it's me, don't you think? I think it's beautiful. I think I'll have to have that. Let's see what else we've got here. Lots of pretty caravan things. It's special. It's pink. And it's huge. 12 pounds, Lisa. It's a laundry hamper. Yeah. Oh, Pinks, you think it's pretty cool. <laughs> I think we might have to have one of those as well. $9.95 bargain. What do you reckon, Pinks? Got a stash? Yeah, you're excited. Oh my god, you're just excited to see Rhonda, aren't you? Alright, that'll do us. Oh, hello, neighbour. Oh my god. I love the t-shirt. Oh, I haven't seen that one it's for a long time. Cool. That's it's the original. Cool. You're the OG now. I am. I've got two of them. Woohoo! <laughs>